SpaceX Starlink Mini is now available worldwide. Let's talk about it. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about SpaceX Starlink Mini and now is available worldwide. You guys have been asking for that for some time. You asked me when that was going to occur and I said probably about a month and it actually happened quicker. So as of today, certain countries now have SpaceX Starlink Mini available. I was reading an article over on PC Magazine and I wanna go through some of that with you. It gives a little bit of a breakdown and I think that it's really important because then you'll know exactly what the price are at the different locations, depends on where you are. But before we get into it, I wanna say that if you haven't downloaded any of my eBooks, check them out. Go to jakerstina.com forward slash books. If you wanna say thank you for all of my hard work, there's a little thank you button down here. You can give a dollar or two if you like. If not, that's perfectly fine. Consider becoming a member of the channel. That would be even better. And if you want more Starlink content, when you're done watching this video, I'll put a little link right over here. Don't click on it yet. Click on here. There's about 300 plus videos that you can check out just specifically on SpaceX Starlink. Helpful how-tos, tips, tricks, what to do, what not to do, what to buy, what not to buy, and the why behind all of it. That's the most important thing. This channel has always been about the why. And if you enjoyed the content, even in the least, throw it a thumbs up. That would be awesome. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not. And if you are, thank you. Appreciate that. Click this little notification button over here so when I go live or when a new video comes out, you will be notified of it immediately. Before we get into this article, some people don't even know what the Starlink Mini is. Basically what Starlink says or what SpaceX says about it is they say that the Starlink Mini is 63% lighter than the standard version. It also has the built-in Wi-Fi router. So instead of having the Wi-Fi router separate, it is actually built into the dish, which is kind of cool. Also, there is a lot less power consumption, about 25 watts to 60 watts using the Mini. That's also great, especially if you're going to be using it out and about. Most likely you will, and it does offer DC power. So you can go DC to DC. So if you're powering it through a battery backup or through a car battery or whatever you have, you do not have to convert from DC to AC to be able to run it. That is much cleaner and you don't lose that power in the conversion using any type of converter, you're going to lose power. So you're not going to with that, which is awesome. Also, they say that you're gonna get about 100 megabits down. I've seen up to 100 190 megabits down already. So those speeds are pretty fast. I mean, considering how small the unit is, it's about the size of an iPad. As a matter of fact, they state that it fits within a backpack and it's about three pounds. That is awesome. So it's about half the size of a standard dish. That is really, really quite small. And once again, if you are backpacking around, if you're a nomad, if you're an RV, if you're hiking or whatever you're doing, being this small is extremely helpful. Once again, throw in your backpack and go. And if you can run it off a battery backup, that's even better. So let's get right into that PC Magazine article. It's most likely important to you guys overseas, but also I think it is interesting for us here in the US. It gives you an idea of where the prices are. Are we getting always the stinky end of the stick here in the US? And the fact is we are, and this article will demonstrate that for us. So it starts out by saying, SpaceX is now selling the Starlink mini dish in Europe and it's cheaper than the US version. Of course, guys, it's cheaper. Like the US, the smaller dish is available through the Starlink Roam tier, enabling customers to use the device on the go. On Starlink.com, it's 399 euros, which is about $433. In France, the company sells the hardware even cheaper at 339 euros, which is about $368 US. Now the US version still goes for $599. So you're looking at about $260 cheaper in France, for example. In addition, SpaceX is charging European subscribers a lower monthly internet fee, which is 40 euros, comes to $43 US, and that's for the 50 gigabyte plan, or 59 euros, which is $64 for unlimited data. Now that's a big difference. 
because here, instead of paying that $43, we're paying $50 here in the US, and that's for the 50 gigabytes. But where things really gets kind of upside down is they're able to pay $64 US overseas for unlimited, whereas here we have to pay $150. That's a big difference. You're talking more than double the price here in the US compared to there. Now, they get into why that is in just a second. The price difference will no doubt annoy US consumers. However, SpaceX has indicated that the disparity is necessary to prevent US customers from overloading the country's Starlink network. I guess they're saying that there's more people that would use the Mini here in the US in comparison to Europe. Quote, where high usage areas like the US, where Starlink Mini places additional demands on this satellite network, we are offering Starlink Mini kits at a higher price point. This is what the company states on their support page on their website, starlink.com. In Europe, it looks like the company has enough network capacity to sell the Mini dish at a more affordable rate. Still, the product isn't available everywhere on the continent. To receive the lowest price on a Starlink mini dish, consumers have to be based in several countries in Latin America, where the dish costs only $200 but requires a $84 per month fee for the internet access. The company has also started selling the dish in Africa. So Europe now has SpaceX Starlink Mini available to them. And of course, we're seeing Africa as well as certain Latin American countries. Now, this is all great. You've been asking for it and now it is available. Like I said in past videos, SpaceX Starlink always uses the US as like a, let's say a testing location, right? We always get the stinky end of the stick, meaning that we're also not only going to beta test this, but we're also going to get a higher price. And what SpaceX Starlink is stating here is the reason that there is a higher price is because there's going to be more people using the system here in the US in comparison to Europe. I guess it makes sense, but it is a massive disparity. You're looking at, what was it, $260 more here in the US for the hardware in comparison to overseas. That is a big, big difference. And that's why a lot of people here are waiting to get involved in the SpaceX Starlink mini kits because they're just simply too expensive. Now that they have moved from only offering the 50 gigabytes per month, which was really, really small, you can still get that for $50 here in the US, but you can also pay the 150 and get an unlimited plan here in the US. But when once again, that unlimited plan here for $150 is only like 64 bucks overseas. It is once again, a major, major disparity in the US compared to Europe. So if you guys are watching and you're in Europe, I wanna hear from you. Is this something that you're going to get involved with now that SpaceX Starlink Mini is available to you? If you are in the US and you see this massive price difference, are you going to wait like you have been and hope that it goes down? Now I've already said this on past videos that this 599 is not going to stay that way. I think it's gonna come down to either $199, maybe $249, probably maximum 299 I think will be the tops for the mini, but it's just not there yet. The question is, do you wait or do you get involved with it now? And I personally would say, if you can wait a little while, I would, because 599 for this small dish, I think is too high. That's my personal opinion. But if it's something that you need and you want something really small and you wanna be able to power it through a solar panel or some type of battery backup and you're on the go, it is a great system. And those speeds where they're saying that eh, we're gonna guarantee you like 100 megabits down, those speeds are not correct. You're actually going to get a lot more. And according to a video that I did yesterday, I believe, the last video I did, SpaceX Starlink has already asked the FCC for more power Power. And when they get more power, what that means is the Mini is going to get a big, big power increase. When that happens, probably the speeds are going to be equal or pretty close to equal to a standard dish. So we're gonna see 200, maybe even 300 megabits down. So we'll see what ends up happening. Once again, I wanna hear from you down in the comments below.
Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, throw it a thumbs up. That'd be awesome. Don't forget to subscribe. If you're not, if you are, thank you. Click this little button, like I said before, so when I go live when a new video comes out, you'll be notified of it immediately. And finally, head over to my website, jchristina.com, where you can find all the photography tools I've invented for you. Over the many years, check it out. There's also my merch, my tees, my shirts, all kinds of stuff. If there's something there that you like, pick it up. Help support me and my family. Many blessings to you and your family. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay connected, and we'll see you in the next one. Love you all.